Hey FlossTube, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle and as the days are clicking down towards March 1st I have been going through my stash and trying to decide what I want to stitch for Mania. I have pulled out all of my Charles Wysocki patterns and kits and I think that if I seriously had to answer the question if there was only one designer I could stitch for the rest of my life it would be Wysocki Projects. But I hate that kind of question, so I love these and I want to go through and show you the very small portion of his designs that I have for cross stitch because there are so many and I wish I could have them all, but sadly most of them are out of print these days. Let's start with the charts. The first one I have is Pepper Cricket Farm. and. It has quilts, it has signs, it's just... Do I even need to explain what I love about these? Because you either see it or you don't. So I have Pepper Cricket Farm. I have My Hometown Book One. And just this one, I don't know the name of it because it's of course not on the front of the chart, but I'm thinking that might be a mania start. but. Then if I start looking, that one, which is in the same chart, might be a mania start. I don't know if these don't have names. This is the Four Seasons, book five. I think I traded this for someone years and years ago. And the Christmas is definitely my least favorite of the bunch. But I like these, and they're small, so they would be definitely doable. Then for kits, I have a Victorian Summer. This one is a cruel kit, and I got it at one of our local thrift stores for 99 cents. This is what gives me hope that I might be able to add to my collection because once in a blue moon, I do find one of these out in the wild for a price that is not that bad. Whoever owned this before me really, really committed to the masking tape. This puppy is taped firmly, and that tape is not going to come off. So do I stitch it with the tape in place, which I don't love the idea of, or do I trim the tape away and zigzag the edges on my sewing machine? I'm going to think about it because I don't know that either of those options is the right one, and we'll just see what happens. Next, I have Peaceful Countryside. This is an Old Dimensions kit. I don't know where I got this one. I don't remember how I acquired this one. And I did start it for last year's Mania. I've made a little bit of progress. Whoever owned this before me had started it themselves, so that makes me think I got it from a trading group I used to be in. I do not know. And I'm the only one who cares. Then last summer at the Sisters Quilt Show in one of the antique stores, I found Down Memory Lane. This one is a stamped cross-stitch project, pattern, kit, whatever it is. It was priced at $4. It was the end of the day. The store was closing in three minutes, and we had just walked down from the house to stretch our legs a little more. Neither of us had any cash in our pockets. So I spent the night hoping that nobody else stumbled or cr crossed it before in that last couple of minutes before they closed ran down the first thing in the morning i don't understand there is no i don't see the delineation between these houses but i'm gonna figure it out it has to be possible to figure it out if you know how these work will you tell me because i'm a little intimidated this is Boat, a front door bow. I don't, does it have a name? Summertime Sights. I love this one a lot. And I actually bought this one back when the kit was still new and available. I'm a little nervous about how you get the fabric placement just right on that bow. But again, it has to be doable, right? And then we have Cozy Cove. It's one of the gold collection. I started it last year for Mania and got maybe 100 stitches down here by the mailbox, which is very unexciting. I do want to get back to it because it is gorgeous. 
I love the details of these so, so much. And one of the things that I love the way they look. My youngest son loves the way they look and he went through a phase a couple of years ago of wanting to do jigsaw puzzles. So we went to the thrift stores with his great grandmother and bought. One day we had an entire shopping cart full of Waisaki jigsaw puzzles. Our grand total was like $20, which we could have bought two brand new jigsaw puzzles for that or a cartload. It's an overabundance. He will never finish all those puzzles. I shouldn't say that because maybe he will, but he had a fun afternoon with his grandmother. The puzzles are tucked away in a closet and he'll do them or he won't. And when he decides that he feels like passing them on to someone else, he can do that. There's not much else you can do for your kid for 20 bucks that will have potentially that many hours. And yes, I do totally realize that a video game could give you that many hours. But now and then we have to do things that aren't video games. Then we get to the cats. This one is Frederick the Literate. I actually owned this one when I first started cross-stitching. I started it. I made a total mess of it, and I don't know if it is still somewhere in my sewing room or if I threw it away out of frustration. This kit is still in print and very affordable, and these days it comes with the thread organizer and the sort of thread, so I'm just starting over from scratch. If you have not seen the Stephen King adaptation of Frederick the Literate that Amy from Amityville did, pause the video and go find it because it is the most amazing thing ever. And it makes me feel really inferior that I think I'm just going to stitch mine as it's charted. I love the cats. This one is Maggie the Messmaker and... If a project has a zillion details, I'm going to want to stitch it. So this one is, it might be a mania start, I don't know, because there's a bunch of Waisaki stuff I want to do as mania starts, and I already have two in progress, so where do I draw the line? Do I need to worry about drawing the line? And then this last one was very, very briefly my unicorn. This is Max in the Adirondacks. It has more detail than Maggie. It is perfect. We listen to a lot of old time radio shows on our family car trips, so I love the radio. I love, I don't know why I love the fishing lures, because the last thing in this world I want to do is go fishing, but I love this. I saw it online fell in love, went over to eBay, saw what the kit is selling for, told myself, you no. And then a few days later, I was up digging through my sewing room and found this dimension, unopened Dimensions Bowl collection kit that I would swear I had never seen before I found it on Pinterest that week. It's got a Shepherd's Bush price tag. I live in Oregon, so I have to have, at some point on a trip to Shepherd's Bush, made, seen this and made the decision to splurge, and oh my gosh, I am so glad I did. This would be the no-brainer for my Mania start, except for sorting that flaw scares me. I know I can do it, because... People do do it. There are so many vintage, or vintage, there are so many finished Waisaki things out there. I can do it. It's whether I have the nerve to tackle it right now. And I've got my conversion charts. I've got my DMC color card. I could and I should. But Current circumstances are kind of doing a number on my enthusiasm and energy levels, so if I it turns out that I can't and I won't, I'm not going to beat myself up over that. I went to, back in 
end of last year when there were still estate sales, there was an estate sale that had so much Wysocki needlepoint on the walls. I'll put a link to that here because if you love this stuff as much as I do, you might want to take a glimpse at that estate sale. I'm not sure how much of the Wysocki actually made it into the video because I was also busy drooling over the Dimensions Fold collection. Sadly, they did not have anything unfinished. It really bewilders me because there was so much stitching in that house and no supplies. Thanks for watching. I am Michelle with Michelle's Romantic Tangle. Let me know, have you finished any of these Waisaki projects? Do you covet them as much as I do? In the meantime, I am just going to quietly wait for my thrift shops to reopen and keep my eyes open because they are out there in the wild and hopefully I can find more of them. And I've got plenty to stitch while I'm looking. Thanks again for watching.